Hey guys, Cam here, and today I'll be explaining Camellia for dummies. Now, I've been getting a lot of replies, messages, and I've been like scrolling through like social media, seeing a lot of people just confused in how to play her. Like she does a lot of damage once, and then now all of a sudden she's doing like zero damage. So I'm gonna explain like the proper rotation for her. This should be a quick video. It shouldn't be like, it's not gonna be like a complete in-depth guide of literally everything you need to know. That's gonna be 15 minutes long, you know? So let's just get into it. Okay, so first and foremost, her best slot team is Senhua and Shorekeeper. Senhua is so good for her just because she uh, increases basic attack damage on her ultra skill. And she has possibly, I think, the fastest Kisodoro generation in the game. And if you don't know what Kisodoro is, Kisodoro is a little little bar under your, uh, next to your character's forte bar, which is above your health bar. And when that fills up, you can proc the character's ultra skill to the next character and then they get buffed from it and then uh, this is really good because all of Kamaya's attacks except like her liberation i think are all based off basic attack damage and she needs this shorekeeper is also his best suck because she's the best healer in the game shorekeeper gives you attack from her weapon if you have a weapon if you have the weapon well she gives ha attack from her uh echo set which is rejuvenating glow and she also gives crit rate and crit damage due to her um, her ultimate, which is really good. Oh, also, before I forget, you do not need her weapon to make her good. Her, the Emerald Genesis, that is like the free five star sword, works just as well with her. Like, it's a 20% less damage, but it's not that, it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. You can use that, or you can use the new uh, Sumnor Anchor. I'm pretty sure that's just as good too. It's it's close. It's it's another like like free to play option. If you don't have the five star weapon, you can always just use the four star. And if you have the battle pass, the battle pass weapon is also I'm, I believe pretty good. It buffs basic attack damage, so you can use that as well. Okay, now Kamala is definitely top one or top two DPS in the team. I won't lie. If you need a DPS character that's just easy as hell to use, very little investment needed. Because first of all. Sanho has a like a freak and she's a poor she's a four star character. And then if you don't have Shorekeeper, you just run around with Arena or like Baisha. One or two. They both work. It's just that Shorekeeper is just the better, like best slot, you know what I'm saying? And then even if you don't have Sanhua, you can use Danjin. Danjin has a little bit of a slower concert region, but she does buff uh she does buff uh havoc damage, so she'd still be good for Kamaya, just not as good as Sanhua. Okay, so now that we're in game, I'm gonna go show off Kamaya's like fastest rotation. Well, easy to use rotation, and the best way to do that is to go against the Tempest Memphis hologram because he's the most unpredictable, uh, like enemy in the game. So this is like Kamaya's worst case scenario. But we're gonna go really slow so you guys can understand what I'm doing and how she works. All right, so let's just get started. So first, first and foremost, you wanna swap the storekeeper. You want to pull up her Gasturdo fat first. I don't know why I stuttered over that. Alright, so you just go to E, skill, do your basics. Dodging also helps your Gasturdo go goes up. And the Gasturdo bar is once again the little bar. Alright, well, it's, it's already up now, but I'm gonna wait for my outcome. I'll wait for my outcomes. Alright, dodge. Alright, E again. Yeah, it's kind of scuffed, but since I don't have any energy beforehand. And the tower, you won't need to do this. All right, now we have an ult. All right, swap the same one. E, R, and then you heavy attack. You should have a concerted bark bow. And now we swap over to Echo. We swap over to Camellia. E. Then you just keep on spinning, keep on spinning. You see the, the 40 bar dra uh, draining? When, I, when the 40 bar gets near the zero, you E. That's how you get the most damage out of her, out of her skill. You keep on spinning again because now her basic attacks are, are doing so much more damage. Because after that, after she used her special enhanced skill, her her basics do way more damage. Now you swap back to Shorekeeper, proc her enter skill, repeat. We just get her we get her energy up, out again, swap back to Sanhua, E, R, heavy attack, the, we're done. All right, now swap over to Camellia. Now you don't have the E again because you're already in her vine state. 
Maybe I just continue spinning again. Just keep on this. Keep on spinning, bro. Let's keep on spinning. She is so simple and easy to use, but Kuro just does a really bad job of spinning her. Now we have 10. Let's get it. All right, more damage. And just keep on spinning again. And yeah, it is over. <laughs> it is over. She is disgustingly good and easy to play, but once again, it's just super hard. They do a bad job of explaining her. But now you guys know how to use her, and I can go use her to her fullest stint. So if you guys enjoyed the video, I mean, it's something different. I don't really do guides and shit like that, but if this gets a lot of reception, I'll probably do more. Like, probably the next character, stuff like that.